But yeah, I do like Kirby though, like, definitely, it, he's not one of my favourite franchises. Um, like, he's probably not, probably not even in a top 10. Um, but I, I, I still say, stay, yeah, I'll still say that uh, Kirby games are still quite a lot of fun. Like, I really, I do like that um, the spin-offs have like a Kirby essence to them, but they are all pretty different in how they play and all that. It's like, um, developers themselves have said that Kirby is like a really easy franchise to uh, uh, experiment with. And I can understand, I can very much see that. It's like, you see Kirby's Epic Yarn, you see Air Ride, you see Mass Attack, you see, um, wasn't there a pinball game of Kirby? Um, but point is, like, they've done a lot of spin-offs with Kirby. Oh yeah, um, what's his face? Um, Rainbow Curse and, uh, the one on DS. And, yeah, it's like, there's a lot you can do with Kirby. And... That's one thing that I do like, that, um, there are the main series when you have, like, your, uh, copy abilities and all that, how that works. But even then, until Return to Dreamland, there wasn't, there, even the main series were pretty different in how they, uh, played, uh, in some respects. Like, Return to Dreamland, basically, um, they, since then, they basically followed, a the same basic uh, gameplay formula and it works so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna harp on it like Triple Deluxe is a, also a really good game I feel like I'm one of the only people in the world that seems to prefer Return to Dreamland over Triple Deluxe but either way like, I just felt like Return to Dreamland uh, was uh, more enjoyable and I preferred I just preferred the levels in that game um, like, there are things in Triple Deluxe that were better, per se, like, um, was it Hypernova is arguably, arguably more, uh, better, and it's definitely more fleshed out than the super abilities were. I still kind of want to say I like the pa I preferred the immense power that the super abilities got more than the Hypernova, because you only really got, like, that sense of power during the final boss, so... Well, you kind of, well, you kind of do feel powerful with, like, uh, sucking up wrecking balls and uh, making it bash up, open a, a tree or something. But I just, like, I just liked the uh, super abilities more in that regard. But, yeah. It's also the fact that you get more than, you get, like, what, up to five super abilities, I believe, when Hypernova is always going to be the same basic thing. It's what they do with it that makes it unique and interesting. So I'll give them credit for that. Like, they have only one super powerful move in Triple Deluxe, but they make the most of it, so, yeah. But yeah, as you just tap one, you'll just, uh, like, tear them to shreds, I guess, so, yeah. Most of the time, I like to put them in a yarn ball because not only do you uh, get um, get to throw like fabric, uh, get to throw the balls at fabric, then break it. You also get beads if you just throw it at an enemy, and you'll just get a little, a good, a good chunk of small beads like that. So that's always nice. But you can't can't climb with them, so that's not fun. Already getting another transformation. UFO. Alright, so basically how this works is um, you can suck up things by pressing 2 and when it's like sparkling like that, you can just press 1 and just do a giant electric shock. And you still can't suck up the fabric there. So you're going to have to use this, these little ones. And do it like this. And sucking out the bees doesn't uh, make it so you, or just build up that energy thing or whatever you want to call it. But, ow, no, there we go. But yeah, 
it's very good for trying to suck up things when they're near spike uh, gordos or spikes or just and dangerous things like that. So. Little bee things. They're not nice. And there was a thing down there, right? Yep, more beads. Yeah, way over the uh, needed um, amount, but. Alright, do we have the thing? Oh, yeah, we got everything. Okay. It does get harder to find everything, though. I don't know if I got that. <laughs> eh. Oh. Barely. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, at this point you get the patches by just complete completing the level, so you don't have to worry about it. Woo. Found the alarm clock patch. Yeah. I don't think it should be too much of a hassle to 100% this game because I'm, I probably won't, well I, I do have an like 80, over 80% save file but I don't think I'm really gonna find any time to go back to, back to that file so I may as well just complete the game here. Um, so look, we'll see how that goes. Because if I miss a treasure I can always just edit, edit around it. Uh, it's just basically just decorate the flat with the right, the right uh, furniture and whatnot. Alright. So, no, wrong button. Okay. Game plays. Yep. And it locks it into place, so. Wait, do I even have that? Oh yeah, I do, okay. Yay! Yep, we have a first visitor. Now, if I'm correct... Alright, yeah, these are little mini games here. We're gonna be, since I'm basically gonna try and 100% this game, uh, we're gonna be doing all of them. And the depending on what character it is, it will be a certain mini game. So this is hide and seek. So you just go around the area, try and find them. There he is. There you go. You just have to hit them with the little whip you have. It's the same at levels and all that, but, you know. Oh, where are you? Also, the, also the uh, timer is very strict on these, like, especially later on. Alright, two more. And, oh, there you go, one more. Uh, not here. I should really ignore the beads a little bit because they're just gonna make me lose time. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, the beads basically mean nothing in those. I mean, they're always good to get more if you want to get by all the fabric and whatnot, but yeah. You want to spend most of your time just trying to accomplish the goal. And they give us some fabric as a reward. Alright, do you have any more? Oh, hi. Oh, what do you want? Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, you can expand the, uh, the apartment or the, yeah, the apartment building. But, do you have any more to do? Alright, yeah, we can't do any more of this now, so, I, f I believe they uh, go like, oh, this guy wants to come back and play or whatever, so that's basically uh, your incentive to go back. 
sure. <laughs> I'm basically forking over all, basically everything, but... There we go. Uh... Right, sure. Can I do that now? I didn't think this all happened so quickly. Oh no, I have to have the right uh, furniture and whatnot. So I don't know if I can even do this. Um. No, I don't. Do I? Yeah, I know how to put things away. Uh. Yeah, no, I can't do this. Possible. How about the other one? Flat 202. I don't know if it gets any bigger than this, though. It, I think it's just this, the three flats. Well, four including you. Come on. B and A? I don't understand, like, he's on, like, being weird. Uh, no, we can't do this either. Okay, whatever. We'll just ignore this for now. Ooh. But yeah, we saw, you could probably see some other characters over to the side, though, so. Yeah, now we can, but. Oh, okay, it's telling us what, we, what they are. See, my brothers decided to set up their shops here. Yeah, furniture. Fabric. Alright. Now, I don't know if I... How much I have left. Yeah, I can barely buy anything. I want the Waddle D. <laughs> that is adorable. I'll get the table. I'll be boring. And I'll get the car. Yeah, and I believe it, um, like, scrolls through a, a list every time. Alright, uh, I like this. Blue. Yeah, 13 beads. Yeah, we need to get more. So, for now, we're just gonna go. Yeah, and you can, uh fast travel for lack of a better word like you press press minus you just jump to the world you want to go to oh we haven't even done this yet <laughs> is that a cat no it's like a well, it's like a it's more like a bear yeah rainbow falls you mean that place in Friendship is magic. <laughs> oh, is this uh, one of those uh, surfing levels? Because those are really fun. Do, do, do. Yeah, this is just a game you can just pick up and play when you when you uh, want to just have a good feel. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Um, oh, okay, that's one of the things we need. Um, but yeah, it's like, you just put, play this game when you want to have a, when you have a, like, had, like, a bad day or something, you want to, you want to just relax and take it easy. And, I mean, it does that, it does its job really well in that regard. And it is a f really fun game, like, the game can, uh, Brings in like new mechanics and whatnot at a relatively good, um, sp good speed. So, yeah, can I go through the wall? Nope. Nope. I don't want to fall. Yeah. Okay. That was pointless. I didn't. F I thought something was over there. Oh man. Yeah. I want to 
try and look around for every little thing I can see. Oh, that didn't give me some beads. Hmm. Hold on, let me try that again. Maybe it's... N Maybe you can't do that with... Uh... Yeah, I guess you just can't get beads from, like, endlessly spawning enemies. Because I got some for the from this guy. And that looks like a instant transformation thing. So I'm going to go back here. Alright, that's going to go back. Alright. Okay. And... Oh, what? Yeah, I'm with... Oh, okay, it's just telling us how to do a bunch of stuff. So, yeah. Good. Pound, you turn into a little... Um, what's your thing? I can't believe I forgot what those were called. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Penguin Surfer. So basically how this works is that you just jump with two and press one to uh, like spin like that. And you want to do that to uh, like bounce off things like this little bee enemy here. And it makes you go off to uh, higher areas for more beads and collectibles. And it's definitely one of my favorite transformations in the game. Ugh. Like, like so. It just feels so good to perfect something like this. Yep. Ugh. Let's go! That was bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I figured. A peanut? <laughs> Yep. Bean patch. Yep. I guess I'm just gonna do... Uh, like a full world then go back to do those little mini games because otherwise it'll be a bit, lot of back and forth and that'll probably get irritating all right get these archers out of here oh he's a little he's crying in the corner oh Kirby you monster <laughs> what are you doing Or like uh, Boomstick said, uh, Kirby's the most adorably terrifying thing in the world. He isn't. He isn't wrong. All right. Get out of her. How does it ha like? Just trying to imagine, like, just being like turned into a yarn ball like that like that must I don't even know man like how would that even feel like you just be like torn to shreds more or less okay nice Uh, this is interesting. Okay, if you would stop bashing onto me, into me. Basically, how this works is that the longer you uh, uh, stand on the uh, Waddle D or the balloons, the um, 
the more the balloons are gonna shrink, so. Oh, hey. I wanna get that. Yeah, I like how, like, the things that are, like, really low on the, at the bottom of the screen are, like, kind of blurred, blurred out a little bit. It's kind of funny. No, I don't want to go up there. Wait, is that the way to go? Is there something over here? Yep. CD. No, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, we're missing something. Um. Where are we? I don't know. I keep pressing minus, thinking it's gonna pop up the menu. I guess we'll just have to go up and see if we find it. Oh! Or just get bonked. We're not gonna get those back. Nope. Ay, ay, ay. Fail. I hate you. I hate you even more because I missed. Alright. Yeah, we kind of kind of miss anything because like, we went up here, and yeah, okay. All right, guess we have to just see. Yeah, and they're infinitely spawning, so okay. Can I? Oh, All right. Ow! <laughs> no! That's probably the best you'll get out of a, like a mini boss or something in this game, because this game isn't really, doesn't really have those. As far as I remember, anyway. Nope. Oh. Yeah, die! Your war blast thing. And that's just a spawning area. Oh. Top of the beanstalk! Okay. No. Yeah. It has to be up there. Yes! There we go. Okay. Oh! <laughs> did I just ricochet that? <laughs> that is the best accidental kill ever. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Let's go. Make that big row of beads. A nice little string. Well, let's see how long I can keep up a gold medal streak.